Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a leaderboard hologram thing. Um, I've seen a lot of servers use this. I uh, haven't seen any YouTube tutorials covering this. Anyone that asked on the on like the forms or something, they don't really give you the answer. They just tell you like what you need to do, but I'm just going to tell you what you should do for it. Yeah. Um for this tutorial you'll need decent holograms um plugins will be in the link in the description so you can download them um if you don't have them download just download it it's not that hard uh but yeah once you have it downloaded um link in comments i should have a github link um there'll be a tutorial number four section because this is number four and you click on it and it has all the code that you need to do just paste it in to an sk file in the scripts folder if you don't know how to do that uh, here's a tutorial on the screen but yeah that's how you do it um if you don't know how to script uh and make this later board um i'll show you an example um, I'll show you my example first. Let's go over to it. Over here, it, there's this kill top leaderboard. Resets every 10 minutes, and you have this thing. It says nobody because there's no one on the server that kills something, but I can just do this. And then, and as you can see, it hasn't updated yet. That's because you need to reset the leaderboard for it to work. Now, I did it multiple times. And this is based off leader. No. This is based off variables, so keep in mind that you have to have variables for this to work. Um, I'm pretty sure it still could work with um, placeholders if you just get that placeholder plugin for a script. Um, yeah, keep keep in mind that there is a lot of console spam. I currently am not aware of how to fix this. However, just that's just a little disclaimer that I just wanted to include. But yeah. Let me explain how it works before you just go coding, unless you already know how it works. So, in the code, let me go to it. In the code, we have this little, like, reset leaderboard loop ten times. It gets the leaderboard. Probably wondering why there's a number three. Let me explain. So, you can see that there's these top lines. There's two up here, and then there's one invisible. Each one of these lines are one line. Therefore, we're trying to get the... Ten, they're, we're trying to get these 10 lines so by adding 3 to them it adds 3 and then counts down from 10 and then for this it's just you can just leave this be um, for the kills um, edit this to whatever value you have I have kills but you can have like money or something for the sorted you have to just put the variables that you had on there so it works um you don't have to edit this, just this. If you want to edit the the little text, you can do um, you can do like number, coloring. Just make sure it has like this stuff in it. This is just detecting if it's like, you know, if it's like set. That's why that way it knows if it's like a nobody or whatever. But yeah, we have a VAR test and you're probably wondering, why is it VAR test? Well, this is a tutorial, of course, but with the DH set, you can see that it's a hologram. So this entire row is a hologram. So when you try to use it and you don't have the name uh, VAR test, it won't work. Instead, it will probably um, make some errors in your console because that's the way it works. And it has like those error messages or something. But make sure you like rename it to your make sure you rename it to your thing and make sure you do the correct formatting so that it looks perfect for your Minecraft server. And yeah, so remember description, plugin links, comments, script stuff. Uh, yeah, just go to tutorial four on my script GitHub page and all you have to do, clip it, click it, put it as raw. Control A, Control C, Control V, in a scripts folder. But yeah, that's how you do it. And I'll see you in the next one. Which is probably cell ones, but like, in the next one.
Yo, it's me again. I'm just trying to say thanks for the almost 20 subscribers. <laughs> really good. <laughs> um, I see that a lot of people really want to make gen servers, so... There may be more uh, code for those, but like... You know, I'm just trying to get views. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. Bye.